Are you worried that eyelash extensions can damage your lashes or worse, your eyesight? Keep watching to find out if the rumors are true. It's Dr. Athena Brassfield here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the safety of the ever so popular eyelash extensions. Now, if you don't know, I'm a board licensed optometrist in practice for over 12 years, and I own two clinics here in Southern California that see thousands of patients every month. I get this question a lot from my patients, so I thought it would be a great topic to tackle in a video. So keep watching to find out exactly if eyelash extensions are safe for your eyes, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to have access to all the videos I'm creating for you guys, and don't forget that bell icon there to get notifications of when my new material goes live. Most beauty trends come and go, but a select few like lipstick and long eyelashes have stood the test of time and are likely here to stay. In the case of long lashes, mascara is a staple in most makeup bags, but newer alternatives, including eyelash extensions, are being used to help women's eyes pop. Eyelash extensions are a growing trend and have gotten a fair share of publicity in recent years, with several big stars showing them off in Hollywood and beyond. But not all the press on eyelash extensions has been attractive. Do you remember a few years ago when actress Kristen Chenoweth showed up wearing big sunglasses on a late night talk show? And she explained the reason was, was because she had had an eyelash extension mishap that left her with badly swollen eyelids. Soon after this, lots of people weighed in on this growing beauty trend, urging consumers to proceed with caution if they're considering having eyelash extensions applied. So what exactly are eyelash extensions? There are lots of ways to get longer looking eyelashes, ladies. The simplest and least expensive is the good old traditional mascara wand. Others can include false eyelashes, pharmaceuticals and serums that promote lash growth, and even eyelash perms and lifts. But really, eyelash extensions don't even fall into any of these categories. Eyelash extensions are actually individual fibers, not a strip of lashes that are glued one by one or in small groups onto your natural eyelashes to enhance the appearance and length and fullness. Most eyelash extensions are synthetic fibers such as nylon and are bonded using different types of professional glues. Silk is another material used for eyelash extensions and there are even mink eyelashes that are made of natural fur. Have you ever tried eyelash extensions? Let me know in the comments below. So how are eyelash extensions applied, you may wonder? You don't need a degree to apply eyelash extensions, but this by no means implies that the procedure is easy to perform. In fact, it requires quite a bit of skill, and due to the precision required to place individual lashes, it's often compared to microsurgery, except it's usually performed in a spa or a salon by an esthetician or technician rather than a trained eye care professional. Most estheticians or technicians apply eyelash extensions using two pairs of tweezers. The first pair is used to separate your natural lashes, and the second pair holds the lash extension, which is dipped in glue and then placed on top of the natural lash that has been isolated. After a few seconds, the two will bond together, and typically anywhere from 50 to 100 eyelash extensions per eye are applied. How long do eyelash extensions last, you may ask? Well, they shed with your natural eyelashes. Typically, they fall out and regrow every six weeks or so. So after about a month, about half of your eyelash extensions will probably be gone. If you sign up for a full set of eyelash extensions, set aside about two to three hours and a few hundred dollars. Mink eyelash extensions can cost upwards of $500. Many salons offer touch-up applications of new eyelash extensions as existing ones are sh getting shed with your natural eyelashes. And the cost for the limited extensions or fills as they're called is definitely a lot less than the initial procedure. But what can go wrong? You know, certainly anytime you're near the eye, there's cause for concern. But with eyelash extensions, problems don't usually result from the sharp tweezers, actually. 
Instead, most problems are caused by the glue that's used to bond the synthetic extensions in place since these often contain formaldehyde or other chemicals that can cause irritation and allergic reactions. A recent article published discusses several cases in which patients experienced infections and allergic reactions to formaldehyde-based adhesives that were used to apply their eyelash extensions. The following are specific dangers of using eyelash extensions. Infection, infection of the eyelid, swollen eyelids, temporary or permanent loss of the eyelashes, and in addition to infections and allergic reaction, reactions, some people actually lose eyelashes in the process of trying to make them more plentiful. This is because frequent use of eyelash extensions can damage the hair follicles responsible for eyelash growth and maintenance. Other less common complications with eyelash extensions include forceps wounds, reactions to solvents used to remove the extensions, and reactions to the tape that may be used to close your eyelids during the procedure. Also, some eye doctors and researchers believe that eyelash extensions may actually increase your risk of dry eyes. Why? Because there's an optimal length for eyelashes to protect the eyes from wind, dust, and other debris. Animal studies suggest this optimal eyelash length is actually one-third of the width of your eye. Longer, fuller eyelashes create a fan-like effect with each blink, increasing airflow on the surface of the eye that can cause dry eye symptoms. So what are my eyelash extension safety tips? Well, the FDA doesn't regulate products used to apply eyelash extensions, so if you're going to get, get them, make sure you do your homework. To assist, you take the following precautions. Number one, ensure that the esthetician is certified and working at a reputable establishment. Check that the esthetician practices adequate hand washing and proper hygiene. Number two, check the eyelash adhesive ingredients before use. How to remove eyelash extensions, you may ask? Well, they are applied with a substance similar to superglue, and it can be really difficult to remove without the proper tools and techniques. The best choice if you're unhappy with how you look wearing eyelash extensions or if some have fallen out and you want the rest removed is to return to the salon and have an esthetician or technician remove them. Do not try to remove them at home. So what has your experience been with eyelash extensions? Share with me in the comments below. So there you have it, folks. I hope I was able to shed some more light on the safety of eyelash extensions for you guys. Remember, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to see all the videos I'm creating for you guys, and don't forget to share it with people you think that it might be helpful for.